PW Insider had the scoop this week on a meeting between WWE officials and Impact officials. Uh, Ed Nordholm and Scott Demore representing Impact Wrestling. No mention of uh, Don Callis in this story, but those two met with several, uh, quote, high-ranking WWE executives last week in Stamford. One uh, WWE source apparently described the meeting as just a general discussion about the uh, the two companies and just kind of a getting-to-know-you type of thing. Uh, the Observer says the belief is that it had to do with the WWE Network and the Impact Tape Library. Not that the library is for sale, because it's not, uh, but possibly to come to some kind of an agreement uh, where WWE would have access to it when needed. Now, they've licensed footage from Impact before for, for some DVDs and some network specials. If you remember that great special on the Hardys, there was footage from Final Deletion and, and some of you know the broken Matt Hardy stuff. And that was not the first time that they've used footage. And what they do typically is they credit the, uh, it was a GWN, I think it is, the Global uh, Wrestling Network, whatever the streaming services that Impact has. They just give them a credit and they put the logo in the corner of the screen. So they've worked together before in that, in that way. Uh, this does not mean the company is up for sale. All of a sudden there's rumors starting up again. That means Impact is for sale. Uh, apparently that is not the case. And look, it, it's good to see the two companies on speaking terms. Uh, you know, now we can just have Vince McMahon get over his phobia of even acknowledging them on television. You know, for every time the announcers, and it doesn't happen often, but for every time the announcers mention, you know, New Japan, a little mention of IWGP, this guy was IW, you know, JBL used to do this all the time, this guy's an IWGP champion. It's okay to mention that, but, you know, it's blasphemy if you were to mention the name Impact, or if you ever mentioned the TNA initials, it was just... It was very obvious that was something on the banned list of terms, probably still is. Uh, I'm not quite sure why that is. And frankly, I think it's incredibly stupid when you consider that half the damn roster now in WWE feels like it's made up of Impact alumni, including some of the biggest names, including the two guys feuding over the WWE Championship right now, <laughs> which used to be their crown jewel, no pun intended, uh, and obviously is no longer. Now that's the, uh, the belt that Roman Reigns has. But yeah, the two guys that have been feuding over the WWE title were just longtime Impact talents that uh, you know made a name for themselves really there, at least on uh, on television. I know Joe had that run as ROH champion, but uh, anyway. So I, I like the fact that they're at least on speaking terms. Who knows what they may do in the future? Maybe they'll work together in other ways. Uh, 